what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today's episode is a pretty special one because this is the very first adventure with the new camper van so many regular viewers here on this channel may not even be up to date with the van at all we've been building this van solely on our other youtube channel destination wilderness the link is down in the description the full build playlist if you're interested in anything you see in this video today definitely go to that channel and check out the whole build process so today is the very first day out adventuring in the van it is not finished we basically finished the camper on the inside so far we have to touch the outside still so we're waiting for the roof rack the off-road lights we're going to be raptor lining the outside we're going to be lifting the van a whole bunch of things you'll have to follow on the other channel to see what happens but for today there's a couple things going on one i'm camping locally so I'm actually not too far from home. I'm about 30 minutes from home. There are some rabbit hunters just across the way training their dogs. So it is a little bit loud given that I'm not very far from home. And the reason I'm not very far from home is because my wife is about to go into labor any day. So I'm in cell phone reception right now. If she calls, I'm gonna have to head out of here and go home. But for now, we're gonna be sitting here with this wood stove cranked up and man it is nice and warm super nice and warm i'm not going to be running the diesel heater today i might run it tonight as i let the wood stove burn out but i think it's going to be very very cozy up here it is windy it is wet it is raining my kind of day so now that the wood stove is burning and you guys are up to speed let's head out back and grab some cooking gear and get a hot coffee on the wood stove
right guys, I've got a hot cup of coffee on the go right now, cozying up to the hot wood stove. Definitely, definitely comfortable. That thing is pumping up so much heat. I've got both side doors wide open and the van is still rocking 23 degrees Celsius. And today outside it's pushing about four or five degrees Celsius. So that is a definite good heat source. Now I do have the diesel heater locked away inside of this cabinet. I'll probably use it late at night, like overnight. I might turn it on speed one just to pump in some heat, help keep the windows defrosted and, you know, kind of keep the condensation down inside as well. Uh, but all in all, this wood stove dries out the van very nicely on wet days like this, hanging clothing up top, getting everything nice and dry. And uh, it's just, it's just a winner. It's awesome having the wood stove in here. So gonna be enjoying that later on, but this coffee is definitely calling my name. I've got a pretty awesome view outside here. It's a wet, misty, dark day. So looking at these trees just blowing around, it's best to just sit inside, have a nice lazy camp out day today, I think. Given the circumstances, I gotta stay close to home and my phone may ring at any time saying, come home, baby's on the way. So we're just gonna relax, play it uh, a little bit easy on this camp out and test out the van too because I got a couple things in here I need to test out to make sure I'm happy with where it's located and how things function so that's the reason why I didn't push on anymore on the build I wanted to get out and get this thing out in the woods test it out see how I like it and then go from there so I do have a meal planned hopefully the rain and the wind holds off because I want to cook it outside on the pull-out drawer I've got the cast iron griddle out there I want to do up some chicken and cook it on that so We'll see how the day progresses and what the weather does. If not, I can always bring it in here on the floor and uh, just kind of cook inside the doorway and do it that way. But uh, right now, I'm gonna get some wood loaded in that stove in just a moment. Enjoy this hot coffee and uh, chill out with Boomer. So cheers guys, nice rainy day. Alright guys, coming inside of the van now for a little bit. It is raining outside, it's crazy windy out there too. And those pack of dogs across the way, they're only about 200 yards away from me. They're training for rabbit season and they are very, very loud. They're definitely getting some work done over there. So I'm gonna shut the doors and relax inside. Uh, the floor has been cleaned, but it's gonna get filthy dirty again if I keep coming in and out with my dirty shoes on. So what I'm gonna do is take my shoes off, get my slippers on, get my hoodie off, like I said, hang out inside for a little bit. I'll show you guys around the van. And I do have a little minor upgrade that I wanna do. I need to mount a bracket that I made at home for my phone or tablet 
when I'm laying down watching movies late at night. So I've been waiting for today to actually come out, lay down and test it out and see where I want to put that. So just take care of a, a little kind of um, home cleaning tasks if, if, it, if it were out here in the van. So the lights are on. Uh, I'm going to leave these lights unplugged. There are two lights in the doorway. I'm going to leave those off for now. Save those for later on tonight. Right now I'll give you a little bit of a idea of what we're doing. So we're pulling 12 watts right now on the Alpha IS battery unit, 91% and is telling me 121 hours with all four of these lights on. So we got plenty of battery power here. Uh, these lights will be on. I do have LED light strips underneath the green trim as well that light up green, red, blue, whatever color I want. So I'll be lighting the van up with some funky colors a little later on this evening. But for now, just going to hunker in here out of the rain and get a few things done. Boomer is definitely in cuddle mode, so he's going to want some attention too. So let's get some work done and show you guys around the van a little bit. All right, so got some nice cozy slippers on and uh, man, it is nice and warm in here. I, I'm gonna probably say that a thousand times this video, super nice and cozy in here with the wood stove on a wet day. It just makes all the difference. So uh, first off, before we get into this, just gonna show you guys around here if you're not familiar with the build. So Boomer likes to perch himself up here on this little cabinet. Inside of here is the diesel heater. I've got the vent positioned here that can rotate up over all the way down. This is kind of like my floor sitting area. Uh, I like chilling out here next to the stove with the diesel heater pumping in. I can just kind of chill out here with my legs crossed, look out the door, do whatever, or I'll position myself with my back up against this if it's a nice day. That way I can see the wood stove, look outside, kind of enjoy the day. So diesel heater is encased inside of here. We've got the wood stove situated over here, battery unit down low. And this battery unit was positioned here on purpose to be not too close to the wood stove, but also to gain some heat, not a lot of heat, just a little bit of heat from the diesel heater during the winter when it's like negative 15, negative 20. Batteries do not like to be cold. So that pushes just enough hot air in there that the battery doesn't get affected by hot or cold. So this unit, this cabinet unit here, I made large enough that I could basically fit all of my 2000 watt battery units in there one at a time, of course. So there's generous amount of room in there to, to do that. So everything inside of here is run on the 2000 watt unit. I should mention that as well. Um, then a little cubby up here for, you know, matches, lights, spoons, forks, all those small dishes up here will get tucked in there when I'm not utilizing that space just to free up some room. Got the bed in the back. Underneath the bed, there's a huge pull-out drawer, which I'll be showing you guys a little later on. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory. We got the bed back there, way up in the corner. There's a little uh, shelving unit for nighttime stuff. You know, take your headlamp off, take your phone out of your pocket, put it in there, whatever. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on the van, definitely check out the other channel. So what I brought with me is this little flexible um, phone holder. It's just a, a generic phone holder but I made a custom bracket out of a piece of aluminum drilled the holes and it's ready to basically be screwed to the surface I'm thinking I'm going to mount it up there that way when I'm laying down it'll be up above my head and I can watch tv hands-free and then pair my phone to my bluetooth speaker which has a lot of bass and then really get it thumping in here with some blue and red lights and just kind of enjoy a nice movie night in here with the wood stove awesome awesome feeling so 
This is going to be my project right now. I'm just going to get this mounted up above. I did bring some tools. Uh, this is kind of an oddball video. It's not a van channel. Uh, just out here. So I might as well bring you guys in on this and see how you guys like it. But uh, yeah, let's get this mounted up there. Get it situated. And after that, I think it's going to be time to cook supper. So take some time doing this. Enjoy a little bit of a hot coffee again. Get the stove stoked up. Rain jacket on because it is raining. And then we'll head out back and do some cooking outside. So... We'll see how it goes, so let's get started. All right, so up here in the bed area, I brought my drill, a spade bit, a couple screws, a couple odds and ends here. Uh, so, uh, let's get situated here. Uh, I gotta move some things out of the way off the bed later on in order for me to lay down, so it's a little busy right now. So here's the phone holder. Here's a curious boomer. Uh, <laughs> so phone goes in the phone holder so let's just kind of line this up here and what I'm thinking is hmm how to rotate this around is screwing this into I already made a mark right there kind of like that and then I'll be able to spin my phone around once it's mounted and kind of put it wherever I want to like that it's just one of these flexible little snake arm so I think that'll work obviously this light will be off when I'm watching TV and movies and then when I'm over by the camera I can also rotate it that way and kind of have a little bit of a viewing area from over by the wood stove while I'm cooking so that is going to be the plan and I think that is the good spot so get the drill get some spade bit action going on and uh, the reason I brought the spade bit is because the back of the metal has a large nut on it so it's got to be countersunk so, just going to pop this in here and uh, take care of this real quick. And then I can watch movie hands-free tonight laying down, looking straight up at the ceiling, which would be pretty sweet. It's a dirty job. There is a better way of doing this. I'm just too lazy right now. Yeah, that'll work perfect. Cool, so I'll get two screws in there and we're good to go. All right, so now that I've got the cell phone mount rigged up there, so I'm good for movies later on tonight. Boomer has no idea where to go right now. He's hot, he's cold, he's all over the place. Um, I'm going to turn my attention to cooking supper because it is a little bit later. I was just kind of lounging around up on the bed, kicking back, just kind of enjoying it. Uh, the stove is burning extremely hot, very, very hot right now. I've got it damped down all the way right now uh, through the draft. The damper, I am going to damp it down just a tiny bit actually because it is very, very, very hot in here. And I loaded in one of those artificial compressed logs. So that will burn for a very, very long time and just let it do its thing. But I am going to be cooking outside. It's still raining outside. So I want to throw my rain jacket on my hat, prop one of the doors open, kind of use the other partially open, partially shut as a rain and wind block. And we'll see how that goes. So I want to grab my rain jacket, grab some food, head outdoors and start on a hot meal.
All right, guys, coming inside out of the wet rain. It is toasty, toasty warm in here. Hands are a little cold. I'm just gonna give these coals in here just a little bit of a poke. Still running one of those artificial logs, so every now and then they like to be broken apart and they really start to flame up again. They burn for a long time, so let that do its thing. Open up the draft and the damper. Really get that kicked up nice and hot. So I am ready to eat. Boomer already had his dinner, but I'm gonna share some chicken with him. I can't give him the wrap because there's all kinds of things in there that's not good for him, but I'm gonna share some chicken once it's cooled off. It is still quite warm. So I've got two big bacon Caesar chicken wraps loaded. Onions, mushrooms, peppers, uh, cheese, spinach, all kinds of good stuff. I'm gonna kick back and eat, guys. I am starving, and being up there in the wet is not the greatest feeling. So I'm gonna sit down, eat some dinner, and relax. All right, guys, supper time is all done. Man, that was good. Two big wraps and finish those up pretty quickly. Boomer had his chicken and a little bit more dog food. Went out for a bathroom break, straightened up the back of the van and came in with some fresh new firewood to load in the stove. It is crackling and popping and it is super comfortable warm in here. So the van's rocking back and forth because it's so windy outside. I got a feeling it's gonna storm tonight and I really don't care. I'm gonna be nice and comfortable inside of here with that wood stove. Boomer is gonna be nice and comfortable up here in the big bed. And we're gonna chill out, play a little bit, and watch some movies. I do have the little arm rigged up right here so I can get my phone mounted to that a little later on, tilt it off to the side or the front or directly above to watch a movie. Uh, I'm gonna be reworking this because this is not gonna stay here. I don't think it's gonna be a very good option for viewing videos. I think maybe more on this side or maybe off to the other side. So this is gonna work for tonight, but I think going forward it will get moved. So other than that, I think we're gonna start getting comfortable in here and start enjoying the night, get some of these lights dimmed down, get some of the colored lights on and start relaxing. I do have the rear curtains shut right now and I've moved my cargo net where I like to just throw a bunch of snacks and random items off to the side. So now I've got all my foot room and I think I'm gonna leave the front curtains open by the driver's seat and passenger seat for now. And then later on this evening, I'll close those which will really help lock in a lot of the heat. So let's start relaxing.
Who's a suck today? Who's a suck today? What are you doing? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? I'm going all soft? You were camping in a van? Hmm? Someone's in a playful mood. <laughs> So while we're out here van camping, we might as well just hunker inside the van. There's no other way to glamorize this. We are literally van camping in a tiny home on wheels. So might as well be inside living lavish, you know? Under the circumstances, I can't go deep into the wilderness today on this trip as I previously explained. So might as well have fun testing it out. Boomer sure is having a blast in here. Very, very playful. So what I'm working on right now is a tiny espresso. I've got my espresso maker ready to go. I've got my hot water on the stove and it is toasty warm in here. Someone is wound for sound, huh? Hmm? Wound for sound. What happens if we ignore them? gonna be a late night tonight. <laughs> Hi. Do you wanna come down? Come. Come here. Come on. Come on. You're gonna lay down? You're gonna lay down in front of the stove? So it looks like I've got my work cut out for me tonight. Scratching dog butts, because that's what he's after. Water is just about ready. I can hear it ticking away and it is gonna be such an awesome night in here. Such a good time once this little rascal settles down. I'm probably gonna let him out for about 20 minutes, let him run around and then come back inside and I think that'll do him in for the night. Out there playing in the rain, he'll be laying down right there in front of the wood stove where he always does. And I think that'll do for him. So I'm gonna get that water heated up and stir it on my espresso. It is getting hot in here. So I have yet to rig up the fan. Um, those of you who are probably noticing this now, there is no roof fan. So there's no max air fan in to out. That's gonna be a future development as the van goes on. Uh, but I do not have the 12 volt van hooked up on the wall that I usually have inside of my bus build to blow some cool air. Cause this getting really hot, especially up here in the bed. Down on the floor, it's not terrible, but up here, very, very warm. The ceiling's actually hot to the touch, believe it or not. Uh, Boomer is just wired, wired. Um, I wanna crack the door. So I'm gonna open up one of the side doors, let some cool air in here because this little rascal is gonna overheat. Uh, he just had a bunch of water, but he definitely needs to cool down. So I'm gonna crack that window, probably sit in the doorway, enjoy some of that heat lofting by my back and enjoy my beautifully creamy espresso. Cheers, guys.
right, everybody, getting a vibe going on right now. Got the white lights turned off, got some of these warm lanterns turned on. Going with some teal lighting tonight, pretty awesome. Boomer's finally calmed down. He was just sleeping on the driver's seat. Uh, had to go up there and close the curtains just to hold in some of the some of the warmth here. The wood stove is burned out. It is definitely too warm for that tonight. So I'm not even gonna bother with the diesel heater or the wood stove. I've got a really big sleeping bag here. I've got a down top quilt down here. I'm gonna open up into a big blanket. We're definitely gonna be warm tonight. So. We're going to start movie night and basically relax, get changed out of these clothes into some more comfortable clothing and start packing it in for the night, get the camera packed away and get the phone out, start on a movie, Bluetooth speaker, and we're just going to chill out here. So we'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning for some coffee. Good night, everybody. Good morning everybody. It is a wet and windy day out here today. So looking out the window, or the door I should say, it uh, it is still misting quite heavy, but it is not downpouring like it did all night last night and very, very early this morning. It was torrential downpour 
the van was just a tapping away like a drum. It was amazing. Had a really, really good night's sleep. Crackland fire was nice this morning, but as I said yesterday, I did not let it burn and I did not use a diesel heater at all as well. As you can see, Boomer is in a very good mood this morning. He uh, He's chewing on a piece of wood up on the bed. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? So he is ready to go. The wind is starting to pick up out there, so I may have to get a bungee cord to hold the door open. So far, the rain is blowing that way, so this door is actually a pretty good wind block for that. And uh, I think we're gonna make out okay. Here, here's another block. Here, you play with that one. <laughs> He is definitely loving this van camper. So last night, very, very comfortable, very warm, uh, very nice ambience in here as well. And one thing I do want to mention with all of that rain is a lot of people are probably going to ask, did the roof leak where the stovepipe is? No, it did not. So on my truck camper, on my bus camper, and on the van camper, I did the exact same thing. If you guys are interested to see what I did, go to the video playlist down in the description. Uh, basically a silicone baking sheet with a hole in it. He's gonna push that all over the place. Here, come here. So no water came in, which I was actually quite surprised because the wind was picking up, but I did place two large rocks on top of the silicone mat last night, just so the wind wouldn't flip it over. So got lucky, no water came in as usual. Pretty happy with that. First time out here camping in the van and everything worked out really well. So very, very cool night last night. Very enjoyable, very warm morning this morning with that hot wood stove just burning away. I don't think I'm gonna load any more wood inside of it. I've got my hot coffee on the go right now. Uh, Boomer's just itching to go, so we're probably just going to do coffee, maybe a quick little snack. He's had breakfast, I haven't, but um, I think maybe we'll just do a little bit of a hangout before packing up. And the, the beautiful thing about this is, realistically, there is no pack up. It's just pull the chimney out of the top, turn the key, start the van, and put it in drive and head out of here. Everything else is taken care of, so... Let's enjoy this rare opportunity of relaxation here on the channel where I can actually sit and enjoy everything and then just turn the key and drive away. So let's soak it all in. Is that your, is that your board? Is that your toy? It is now. Does it make me some kindling? Perfect. All right guys, so coffee's all finished up with and the wood stove is just about burned out. It is super, super toasty warm in here. Coming up to the front of the van, I'm just organizing a few things. So when it's time to hit the road, it's time to go. Boomer keeps stealing the firewood, chewing on everything. So he's actually making quite a nice little chip pile of kindling for the next adventure. So it's pretty awesome. But uh, I think I'm gonna be firing up the van any moment now just to get the windshield defrosted as the heat is starting to dissipate out of the stove soon. Got to get that pipe pulled out of the top and that's basically about it. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up right here. Had a really, really great time out here. First time in the van. Misty, moody, cloudy, rainy outside, which is my kind of vibe. I was happy enough to have the doors open so I can actually enjoy a little bit of the view. But realistically, this location is not ideal for me is what I'm trying to say. I would love to be parked on a beach or up on a mountaintop or out in the forest, but given the circumstances on this adventure, I'll take this versus sitting in the driveway any day. So definitely happy. If you guys have any questions or comments about the trip or the van build, drop them down below. And like I mentioned earlier, there are links available in the description if you want to basically take a look and help answer some of those questions that you may have, or maybe some questions that you didn't think you had. So until next time, peace out guys. I'll catch you in the next adventure.